Hello there, I'm Daniel Stern, the Code Whisperer. In this video, we're going to learn all about destructuring. Destructuring is one of my favorite parts of ES6, and I think once you're done watching this video, it'll be one of your favorite parts too. So to code along at home, just open up Chrome and open up your dev tools with the F12 button. If you want to go to a completely empty page, you can find one at about colon blank. So let's say you're working on a project and you call to an API and you get a list of names like this. Now let's say you want to hold each of the names in its own variable. You could do so like this. You could say verjohn equals names zero. And vereddard equals names one. Now if I look at John and Eddard, they're equal to the value of the names. So we can do it all at once by using destructuring. We'll say ver, and then after ver, we'll put an array just like this. And now inside the array, every variable we put will be assigned to the equivalent element of that array. So I can say ver John Eddard aria. equals names. Now I can look at John, Eddard, Aria, and so forth. In addition, you can put default values inside destructuring. So let's make a new array of names. Jamie, Cersei, and Tywin. Now we can destructure these names by saying ver Jamie, Cersei, Tywin, and I'll add a default value at the end, Tyrion, and then I'll give it an equals, and I'll just make it equal to the string tier. You'll see there's an error here. That's because we have to make this equal to something. So I'll make this equal to names. Now you can see all the variables are assigned as expected. And Tyrion is equal to tier because no value was assigned there in destructuring. Finally, let's look at object destructuring. So this works very much the same way. So I could make an object. I'll call the object kings. And I'll give it a property, the north property. I'll make equal to the string rob. And the south property, I'll make equal to the string renly. And the east property, I'll make equal to Stannis. Just put an equal sign there to fix that. So I have my kings now. So I can destructure them by saying ver and putting an object after the word ver. I'll say ver and inside curly brackets I'll, for the property north, I'll make that equal to a variable n. And for the property south, I'll make that equal to the variable s. And I'll make that equal to kings. Kind of weird, but that's destructuring. Now, if I check out the variable n, it's equal to rob, king in the north. And the variable s is equal to renly, king of the south, for a time. And that's about it. Finally, with objects, you can use a short form destructuring. So I can say ver north south east equals kings. And if I look at east, it's Stannis and so forth. That's about it for destructuring. Destructuring is really easy to use and very cool. And as you can see, it already works inside of Chrome. Nothing is stopping you. So go ahead and get started and use these features today.